Okay, let's pick up where we left off. Um, hopefully you found your periodic table, periodic table on page 21 in your text. Um, first, let's talk about the atomic number. That's the number of protons in an atom. And if you look at carbon, C, it has a six. Carbon always is six, and if it has six protons in it, it's carbon. F is nine, that's fluorine. It has nine. Its atomic number is nine, and that means it has nine protons in, its at in an atom. Um, however, there's another number there that changes. You'll look on here and see carbon is, the bigger number is 12.01. We round that off when we list it like this for the mass number um, because that really represents uh, protons plus neutrons, but really it turns out it's the average of the isotopes of carbon. That means they have different atomic masses. So carbon-12 only has six protons and six neutrons. Carbon-14 has six protons and eight neutrons to add up to 14 total in that nucleus. We'll do some more uh, examples of that. So isotopes just have different numbers of neutrons. Uh, atomic mass unit is what we talk, or Daltons, and that mass number we were talking about represents protons plus neutrons in that nucleus. So we have the same picture again, and here's a mass as 12, 6, and so to figure out neutrons, you just subtract 6 from the 12, and you get 6. So this one has 6 neutrons. This one has 6 protons, but more neutrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 plus the 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, equals that 14 number right there. So, we've got your uh, periodic table ready. How, let's talk about how magic that is and how it will help you. But first we need to talk about how those electrons fill that shell. Because we've been talking about the protons, but not the electrons yet. So let's look at the electrons. We've got one positive charge, so we've got one negative. Two positive charges, two protons, then two electrons, and so forth. Now, this illustrates something pretty darn cool that will help you solve all those problems really easily. This group number at the top, that is how many electrons this, each of these guys in this column have in the last shell. So they've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Boom, six. Sulfur, one, two, three, four, five, six in the last shell. Why is the last shell important? That's what determines the reactivity of this molecule, or this atom. And so the last shell, how many electrons are in there, is everything. And it determines how this thing is going to react. So, you have a quick thing. You know, these guys all have full outer shell, shells, so they don't want to react with anything, actually. They don't care. They're called the inert gases. Seven here. This guy is pretty darn strong. This guy's going to steal and transfer an electron from something else because it's got seven and it wants to have eight. Remember that eight octet rule? It wants to have full. And so, this guy, these guys in this one are going to do it. Oops, sorry. And so fluorine, very reactive. Chlorine, Clorox, bleach. We're talking about stuff that is very reactive here because they only need one electron to fill their outer shell. This end, let's look at these guys that only have one. They can't hold on to that so well, so it ends up going over to somebody else. So these numbers across the top are the numbers of electrons in the last shell. And then going down, except for helium, there's only two because this first shell is full at two. But when you go down the periods, this is the number of shells they have. So all these guys only have one electron shell. These all have two. So the first one's full and then the second one. These have three. The first one's full, the second one's full, and then the third one is the one that has this number in it. So, to make that even a little bit more confusing, um, there's some very weird way this is talked about. Valence. Valence means the number of electrons in the outer shell. Write it down. Valence just means that number that I told you that's across the periodic table. That's the number of electrons in the last shell. Oxygen has six. All right. Valence number means how many electrons it needs to create an octet and to be full.